Unfortunately, I don't have many pictures from the beginning of this project since I started it a couple years ago without any intention of recording it. But I will show you what I got and hopefully from here on I manage to document this build better. Um, I don't follow any plans nor did I make any detailed plans for this boat. Um, however, I do have a rough idea of the dimensions um, such as length, width and height. But that's pretty much about it. Um, my belief is that it is nearly impossible to plan out everything in detail. So I figured I, before I spent a lifetime planning things out, I just start and figure it out while I build it. And so far that is working out pretty well for me. Once I built the frame from Douglas fir, I started to cover it with marine grade plywood, um, also made from Douglas fir. After that, I covered the hull with multiple layers of epoxy and fiberglass. Again, unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of that, but uh, boy, let me tell you, that was a painful process. Literally weeks went into sanding down in between the epoxy layers before I finally could prime and paint it. Now, the first thing I did before I even got started with the build was buying a trailer. Because once I had the trailer, it was much, much easier to decide the dimensions for the actual boat. At this point, the hull was ready to be flipped around. First, I built a temporary frame around the boat. Um, then I jacked it up high enough so I can drive my trailer right underneath. And then I pulled it out of the garage. Uh, once unloaded in the driveway, I started the rotation with an ordinary farm jack. And my pack then 14 year old stepson here had a good time pulling the boat with my truck until it was sitting on its side. And thanks to that temporary frame, the hull itself was quite protected and yeah, didn't get damaged at all. I did, however, have a quad hooked up on the other side to stop the boat from accidentally falling over the other way. Yeah, in general, the kids did a great job helping me with that step and yeah, that would have been much harder to do just by myself. Now this was the first time the hull got moved, which was a good opportunity to judge the stiffness, among other things. And for my taste, there was a little bit too much flex in it. Um, it doesn't come as a surprise because I pretty much pushed the boundaries when I built the framework. I tried to build as lightweight as possible and therefore used two by three quarter of an inch material for the cross sections. And looking back now, I wish I would have used something more solid. But I also know by adding the upper framing and the interior, it will stiffen up significantly. And in case that is not going to be enough, it will be easy enough to go back to the hull framing and add to it till I reach the desired strength. To finish the rotation, the truck and the quad traded position. A gentle pull from the quad tipped the boat over and the heavy truck made sure to let it down to the ground in a slow and safe manner. I did put down a couple old couch cushions uh, to give it a soft landing and yet again the kids did a phenomenal job helping me out here and even though I was quite stressed about the step of the build, everything went super smooth. Now to get the boat back in the garage I pretty much reversed all the steps. Um, the whole procedure took a full day. The last thing I did to the boat was to get the majority of the upper framing done. And as I mentioned in the beginning, um, I started a couple of years ago and I knew back then already it will take a while to get this done. Since as you can imagine, life can get very busy at times and it's hard to carve out enough time to actually work on it. Anyways, I plan to work on it more frequently between now and the beginning of the winter. So if you're interested to see how this build is going to play out and if you want to know more about the design itself, just follow along by subscribing to this channel and I will keep you updated. So that's gonna wrap it up for now and I hope I see you in the next video.